Hello and welcome to another update video. Today we take a look at KuCoin and I want to show you how you can select an alert on KuCoin. So it might be when you're using KuCoin that you want to get alerted if a price of a certain coin token goes above or below a certain level or you want to get alerted if the volatility goes higher because that might be an opportunity for money to be made because for traders volatility is where you know, money can be made. If you have a low volatile, low, low volatility coin, it is very hard to trade because um, there are not a lot of up and ups and downs. And in the end, volatility is what you can trade. So how to do that on KuCoin? Well, on KuCoin, this is the main dashboard. What you do, you go to the markets tab. On the markets tab, you go to spot. This is where you can set your alerts. And then you have your little alarm clock here where you can do it. First of all, you can see all these trading pairs that KuCoin offers. So you can trade um, BTC pairs, KuCoin token pairs and even altcoin pairs. Um, I mainly trade and um, use, when I, when I buy and sell, I use the um, USDT or USDC options. So stablecoin options, stablecoin pairs. So a lot of, um, lot of uh, different coins here, huge selection of altcoins. So what do we do? We check first of all the price here of, let's say Bitcoin, 16 and a half K. Let's just, to keep it simple, select Bitcoin. I didn't want to go into the trading dashboard. So we go back. So Bitcoin alerts, and then I'm going to add an alert here. And we already have Bitcoin USDT selected. Again, you can select here different coins. You can also search for pre for pairs. Let's say I want to get alerted if Bitcoin goes above 17 K. The reason for that could be that there is a, a certain resistance level that I believe if it gets broken that, you know, I might want to jump onto the, onto the trend. So I want to be alerted if it crosses above that level. The other option is I want to be alerted if Bitcoin crosses below a certain level. So that could be 15K. So I do add that as well. And it's very simple. You can leave them in here, switch them on and off, and then you get alerted if the price fulfills that condition. And you can also take them out by just crossing, uh, clicking on that cross here, that X. In addition to that, you get an alert lock. So if certain al alerts have been triggered in the past, you see your log here, so you can double check that. And you can also add a volatility alert. So if the five minute volatility goes above a certain level, let's say 3%, which is already quite a lot within five minutes, but certainly nothing that we haven't seen before. Um, for altcoins, you will you will usually see that more often to be triggered. Um, but yeah, you can, you can select your volatility here, five minute volatility, confirm, and then you get volatility alerts as well. So that just tells you when a coin gets more volatile on a low time frame. But this is how you select and add alerts on KuCoin. You can do something similar on other, um, you know, apps, for example, TradingView. But if you're using KuCoin, it might be a useful option for you to do that and to know how you can actually find that. Okay, that's the update about KuCoin. If you want to support the channel, you can find a affiliate link in the video description it gives you, if you want to use KuCoin, 20% discount on your trading fees. And other than that, hope you liked the update. Thanks a lot for watching and bye-bye.